Hey guys, so previous video we talked about reactions to contact or counter ambush stuff and so we talked about how uh, for our reactions to a far ambush or far contact we need to get out of the kill zone. So we're going to talk a little bit about um, breaking contact, methods to break contact. So we'll kind of have just two main methods, uh, they're a little bit variable within the two of them um, as to why we'll break contact. So there's a couple reasons why we would break contact. So there's obviously you need to get out of the kill zone of an ambush or enemy contact when it comes to that. Another one that a lot of people don't think of is if we're talking about a raid or a limited um, scope of advance mission, meaning that we're going to assault a particular enemy objective or position, but we know that at a designated time we're going to come back out and continue mission. We're not going to stay and just occupy whatever objective or stay and fight. We're going to come back out. Okay, so we're talking about breaking contact. We'll talk about the most basic way to do it and the most basic level here first. So um, we're here, we just got a small unit. We'll have this represent a Marine Corps fire team. So four dudes. And so he takes contact and we decide we need to break contact, right? So the way this is always going to start, no matter what method we're using, is the, the team leader, he's going to give a break contact and then he's going to say direction and distance. All right, he can go left, he can go right, he can go back. All right, so in this one he's going to say break contact, rear, 300 meters. All right, so we break contact to the rear, 300 meters. Basically, how we're going to operate is we're just going to do our individual movement or our way that we would attack the enemy uh, when we're in our final objective phase. We're going to do that to the rear. So now this is going to be a little bit individual. He may call out um, somebody to go first or a particular group of people to go first or he may not, depending on the unit. Um, if you've been working together for a while and have a lot of training, you don't need to say anything like that. So he's going to say break contact to the rear. So somebody's always going to start it off all right, and they're going to give a moving call. When the move back, he's going up, up, sees me, um, up, he sees me, I'm down. So nice and quick. We're not going to move very far. Probably five or ten yards is about it for this initial phase. Because remember, we're taking fire from the enemy. So we can't all just get up, turn around, and take off because the enemy's going to be able to pour their maximum fire on us. All right. So now, how these other guys and how this guy is going to know how to move is they're just going to use their ears all right, and use their eyes and see that outgoing fire. So this guy, all right, as long as these guys can hear, outgoing fire, suppressive fire, they know that they can move. So he hears me firing, hears me firing, so he's gonna get up, uh, he sees me, I'm down. All right, these guys are gonna do the same thing. So it's kind of just gonna build on itself like that. So you might end up where you have this kind of thing going, all right, and we need frog as we go back. All right, it's not an exactly choreographed movement because all right, things don't look like a textbook or they don't look like poker chips in real life. So again, you're gonna use your eyes, you're gonna use your ears, so as long as there's suppressive fire going, you know he can move. Now, obviously, you have to watch your sectors of fire. As you're pulling back, all right, the same as when you're advancing, you have to be able to watch your sector of fire and watch the guy next to you to make sure that you're not, um, you know, muzzle him, and especially make sure you're not freaking putting friendly fire on blue on blue, all right? So that's basic. That's just a break contact to the rear. So now we're going to talk about the peel, all right, the peel. Okay, so this is a much more advanced method of breaking contact, and I think it's a lot better method. It requires more practice and it requires a good use of terrain. All right, so what we're gonna use the peel is typically when we're breaking contact 90 degrees away from a particular location. All right, so again, the leader's gonna call out, he's gonna say break contact right. So he's gonna say break contact right. So that means the guy on the far left is gonna be the first one to move. So he's gonna pick up from position, all right? He's going to tap the guy or tell the guy that's next to him that he's the last man. Now, usually we like to have physical contact. It's loud in firefights, a lot of shit's going down. So when I'm up, when I come, I literally, I'm just gonna squeeze the shoulder, tap the guy's helmet, tap his gear, whatever, and tell him he's the last man, and then I take off. So I tap this guy, I'm gonna peel, and I'm gonna come back through. So now this guy, once I told him he's the last man, he's just gonna wait for a designated amount of time, and then he's gonna go. So he's not gonna be able to see or hear me get all the way to the end, so he's not gonna rely on that. He's just gonna count in his head. You know, five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever it might be, depending on the, the terrain, depending on how many people that we have in this small unit, all right? Obviously a smaller unit, you know, all right, you need less time, bigger unit, you need more time. And so he's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna pull up, he's gonna tell this guy, last man, he's gonna peel and he's gonna go, and this is gonna go on and on, all right, last man, so on and so forth. So now, uh, the same thing when we peel, depending on the situation, you usually want to, or almost always want to give a distance when it comes to that, depending on what the actual mission of the break contact is. So meaning that when we get to a designated distance, let's say it's 300 meters away, we're going to consolidate and then we're going to get follow on orders and decide what our actions are going to be at that point. So it might be to get back in patrol formation and to continue movement, depending on if we're going somewhere or if we're, you know, actually trying to make it back to, um, you know, back to base or something like that. 
if we want to now try to maneuver around and put it back on the enemy, or maybe now that we've broken contact and we know the enemy might be following us, maybe now we want to set up an ambush of our own and try to suck the enemy back in, return the favor a little bit. So again, it's dependent on the situation and the mission, but the same thing um, is the basics for both of those methods. Break contact, give direction, give a distance, all right? Use your ears, use your eyes, and communicate with the guy next to you, let him know. My most important thing is that we keep up our fire as we're moving, all right? But we do need to get out of there nice and quick, all right? We don't wanna hang around any longer than possible, all right? So remember guys, only the hits count, and you can never miss fast enough to catch back up.